All right, how to make your own fireworks with trap code particular in Adobe After Effects. A little tribute to 4th of July here. So uh, jumping right in, just gonna make a new solid and we're gonna apply particular to that solid. Over here, just drag it on. And then we're gonna add a light layer. This is gonna be our emitter. We're gonna make this an emitter through particular. Point light, white is good, intensity 100, perfect. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and animate this like it's launching. So this is gonna be our firework launch layer. And this light emitter is basically gonna be the firework shooting up into the air. So I'm gonna go ahead and keyframe at a position right here, go for about two seconds, make another keyframe. Just gonna leave that second one where it is, go back to my first one, and then bring that down. Just make the launch path. Yeah, something like that. All right, so that's how the firework is gonna fly. Now we're just gonna make the emitter stick to the, gonna go into the launch layer, drop down emitter, and emitter type is gonna be lights. All right, so now that light is emitting those particles as it's shooting up, but they are all over the place. That's not quite what we want. So let's change some things. All right, let's make the velocity seven and the emitter size zero. Velocity from motion, I'm gonna actually make that 0.5 for now. And then under particle for life, let's say 0.5 seconds. And then size, let's take that down to one tiny little strip there. So we're gonna be far back watching this, theoretically. All right, let's jump down to aux system. We're gonna say emit continuously. It's gonna brighten that up again. The size is too big. Let's make that 0.5 also. There we go. But I feel like we need more particle action going on. We're gonna crank the particles per second up a lot. Yeah, something like a thousand It's good. Okay. All right, so that's our firework launch. Got that good for now. So now we just need the, the boom, the explosion up there. So let's go ahead and create a new solid. Rename that, just call it boom. And apply particular. Okay, U to drop down my, my little keyframes. I'm gonna go to this one. So this is where we need the explosion to be. So to fix that, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this with my uh, little tilde key full screen so I can see better. I'm gonna drop down the particular effects under the boom layer. And for emitter, we're gonna to need to fix this position to the position of the emitter. Now if I close that up again, that is following our emitter path. But again, still got work to do. All right, so with that playhead positioned at my end keyframe for the launch, for particles per second, I'm gonna add a keyframe there, make it zero. Go forward one frame by holding command and then arrowing to the right. Add another keyframe and crank this up to a lot. See what this looks like. Ooh, that's quite a bit. We're not done yet. Let me uh, go back to that second keyframe. Command arrow right again to add a third keyframe because this is gonna be zero. Again, because we just want one boom explosion. We don't want any kind of a continuous emission. All right, so how's this gonna look? All right, that's not a lot. So let's try like 3000. It's a little, little better. To alternate the velocity a little bit, but not, uh, not too crazy. Velocity random, let me crank that up. Yeah, we want it to look more circular as it's exploding. So we'll bring that down to maybe 10 so it's not completely spherical, just a little bit above zero. You can play around with it. All right, I'm gonna come back up here, go under particle. We'll leave the live at three seconds. I'm gonna make the size two, bring that down a little bit. Change blend mode to screen, which we won't see the effect of that now, but it'll come into play later. Opacity over life. Random from gradient, because we're gonna add some color to these. All right, so dropping down color over life, we've got our color options here. I don't really care for uh, what's happening right now. So I'm just gonna pull some of these off. I'm gonna actually add, I'm gonna make a white one. So we got some red, white, and blue action going on. All right, let me close that for a second. Uh, physics, we're gonna add some gravity. Let's just make it 10. And this will make more sense once we actually add the uh, the tails to these fireworks. This is a uh, what we're gonna do next, so under aux system, we're gonna wanna emit continuously. There we got some uh, some tails coming on. Stay alive one second, they last a little longer. And then size, we're gonna take down to one because those are obviously way too big. But this is looking a little too speckled here, so we're gonna increase particles per second and brighten that up, make those trails better. Now it's starting to look like a firework. Yeah, maybe don't even need that many. Yeah, let's just put it around 100 for now, 89 is fine. And notice we've got these colored tips here, but the uh, the tails aren't colored, so we've got to change that. So we're gonna go color from main, 
100%. So now we've changed that color. And then these cut off a little too sharply here, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of want, want that to fade out more, give it a more realistic feel. So for size over life right here, we're gonna drop this down and pick this preset. That's gonna give that a nice fall off. Then blend mode screen in case they are on top of each other, make that look a little better. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Not bad, not too bad. Feels a little abrupt how that ends. I'm gonna go back up to particle and drop down size over life. I'm gonna add the same preset to this and see how that makes a difference. Yeah, much better. Then we've got a problem with this uh, little dot in the center of our, our boom, our explosion. This little white dot, that should not still be there. So to fix that, I'm gonna back up to the top of our launch point, our launch animation. I'm gonna go to our launch layer under emitter, particles per second, we've got that at 100. So I'm gonna add a keyframe right there since we're at the top of our launch animation. I'm just gonna go forward one frame and then bring that particles per second down to zero. And uh, that way, as soon as we hit the end of that launch action, that white dot should disappear and we should stop getting that little uh, emission dot. So playing through this again, perfect. It's looking a little dim to me. I'm gonna go back into my boom layer. Let's see if we can brighten those streaks up a bit. Under aux system. Let's crank this up. Let me back this up a little bit. Yeah, let's try to crank this up. There we go. So just adding more particles per second. It's gonna sort of fatten up those trails and uh, give you more to look at. So you can just, according to your taste, do that however you want. And something else we might look at here under aux system is color from main. If we don't want those to be so starkly saturated with the blue, the red, and the white, we can take this down to maybe like 70% and it softens up uh, that brightness a little bit, but maybe if you like that, just whatever, kind of whatever your preference is there, you can use that to sort of change and work with the uh, the effect the color has on those tails. I think it looks good at 100 right here, but that's something to think about. Those will just stop and fade out. Could probably work on that a little bit, make it look a little more graceful at the end, but uh, that's the basic of how to create a firework, at least one way, I'm sure there's multiple ways to do it, but one way to create uh, fireworks in trap code, or with trap code particular in Adobe After Effects. Not bad. So obviously we're gonna want more than one firework going on here, so all I'm gonna do is just select all of these, Command D to duplicate, I'm on a Mac here, so Control D to duplicate if you're on a PC. And uh, I've already got those new layers highlighted, so I'm just gonna drag them underneath. So we've got our second firework here. All right, so with this new batch of layers, first thing we're gonna do is hit my tilde key to open this up so I can drop down my boom layer, effects, particular, emitter, and this is where I need to pick whip the position of my boom layer to my emitter layer. So it follows that one instead of the firework one layer. Tilde key to get back. Now we're gonna move the position of the emitter. Move that there a little bit. Raise it up a bit, position however you like. I'm gonna select these three layers and move them forward a bit. We'll say right about here. We can take off after our first one. There we go, we got one after the other. All right, so for a little more contrast and variety, we're gonna change the color, change a few things about this second firework. So in my boom layer, boom two, under particle, I'm gonna go ahead and change these. I think I'm gonna make this one green. Yeah, let's go with green. I'm gonna pull that white one off. I'm gonna make this, make a little bit of a lighter green. Yeah, and then under emitter, I'm going to change the velocity to maybe 80. Make it a little bit smaller in comparison to our first one. And then I'm gonna rotate the Z so it's not kind of identical in the way those tails are, are flying out from the explosion. Change my X rotation a little bit, maybe the Y. Just some things to alternate the way that that firework looks in the air uh, compared to the first one. Now if we back this up and play that through. Notice the white dot lingers here in that first one for a little bit too long. I'm not sure why that happens, but uh, an easy way to solve that is I'm gonna go ahead and pre-comp these layers for my, uh, my firework one. And that takes care of that. If you notice, I'm gonna play through this again and the, uh, the white dot now goes away quicker. So you can go ahead and repeat that process, changing those minor details for however many other fireworks you want, make a nice little composite of a bunch of fireworks going off that you've made yourself. And of course, adding whatever sound effects or boom sounds you have access to to uh, really get the full firework experience on screen. So uh, there you go, hopefully that's helpful. Happy 4th, and uh, hope to see you again, thanks.